Wearing today with the GeForce 7300 Lite Edition, this is a 2006 video card with 128 megabytes of VRAM DDR2, running at 450 megahertz on the core clock and 263 megahertz on the memory clock. It's got 64 bits bus width, DirectX 9, and today we're gonna pair it up with this Intel Core 2 Extreme QX6850 with four cores and four threads. To be fair, this is not a very good video card if you wanna put it today in a modern machine but uh, if you put it in an old machine with old games i think this is going to be a very interesting test but the best thing we can do for the video card is jump in a couple of games and see how it holds let's go the best thing i can do for a video card like this is to put it in an old machine with old games i cannot do nothing with the 7300 light edition i cannot play nothing online you know the, the whole concept of this video card i think was to be a display adapter regardless i want to see the per performance this video card has got i got uh, 800 by 600 with medium details exactly in half you know and in this situation and you can actually see that an old video card like wait wait re, let, let me rephrase the 7300 yeah can be used e something similar like an og legendary video cards you know that is very expensive you know so let's say a 450 megahertz video card imagine having an ultra geforce 2 or 3 you know that is costing 200 300 pounds you can get an rtx video card you know but instead you can use a 7300 like this you know in your old machine and uh, play underground with 800 by 600 with uh, medium details and it looks fantastic seriously it's an awesome idea when it comes to this uh, retro gaming you know using a video card like this some people say other people's trash is somebody else's treasure everybody knows how to trash talk a video card like this you know everybody can butcher it and destroy it you know but uh, to find purpose for a, an old video card like this i mean oh, it's 2006 you know for a 7300 uh, light edition i will not say light edition lame edition i can call it <laughs> not light edition it's a lame edition more you know i will say this on 40 50 fps i can go lower quality it's a fantastic choice this is one of those games that is using this video card properly i got uh, 44 megabytes of vram utilization in this case you can see on 800 by 600 with low quality that the video card is struggling to actually use this uh, system i mean it's got nothing on the video card because uh, i barely get 40 fps definitely hard to actually play the game with uh, a video card like this but uh, you can see that it's struggling to maintain uh, 60 fps it's uh, it's a challenge you know to find games that can uh, be utilized with a video card like this it's using the video card only 46 megabytes of vram this is 800 by 600 if you put it on even lower resolution you will get a better performance i think but uh, you will not have uh, maximum utilization even though it's got a low vram amount you can see that uh, in some cases it's not utilizing it at maximum but that's a good thing you know if it's not utilizing the vram overall performance performance here with uh, on the meter you can see that uh, i got 175 watts consumption from the whole computer you know i only seen 140 150 that was the maximum wattage from the whole computer with uh, other video cards in this case you can see that the video card it's on point with all games this is a game that i would like to play on this you know so this is 800 by 600 with uh, low to normal details apparently this video card it's capable of uh, utilizing the resource here in uh, in the situation the game knows how to utilize the resources offered here with this video card you can actually see only 60 megabytes of vram utilized but uh, it's got uh, 70 60 s 60 70 fps there is a good chance in this case to utilize the video card properly i will call this a big win because this is the type of games that i would like to put on this i need games that are uh, the same age like the video card or older this is the amount of performance ones i want from this video card seriously because if you're interested on in playing and making this video card valid the age of empires is one of them so this for me it's a very good game this is actually a good performance listen 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 this is actually a good performance 1024 with ultra in doom 3 yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, hear me out. 170 watts, 170 megabytes of VRAM utilization. I got uh, maximum temperature of 78 degrees. I mean, that thing, it's uh, it's overheating, you know. I think if, if it survives this video, I will say this is an awesome uh, performance from that thermal glue that is got on that radiator. But whatever, 1.2 gig of system RAM utilized. The CPU, it's everywhere with 63 degrees on the CPU side. Actually good, but uh, all in all, 24 fps i want to see if i go around and how can i uh, utilize this video card because i know that if i put uh, this game on um, 800 by 600 or 640 or something like that i will get more fps 1024 it's an exaggeration when it comes to the resolution for this video card because it's uh, you know I, I don't even know what the equivalent of an older video card you know from 2002 5 4 or something like that when it comes to this uh, video card you can actually see that the performance it's almost there i can't say nothing bad about it because it does exactly what i want does it run crisis <laughs> 173 watts consumption i'm on 800 by 600 with lowest details and i got 12 fps 80 degrees on video card 91 megabytes of vram utilization this is cooking you know <laughs> you know this gpu is cooking so 800 by 600 is the lowest i can go in the resolution and this is the maximum you can get you can't do nothing here maybe if you can you can play the game like this if you look in the ground you get 24 fps maybe in the sky you know i get 20 30 fps if you look at the sky don't shoot only in the last second you go back 32 fps i got nice ms if i look at the sky 30 ms <laughs> all jokes aside crisis is not playable on a 7300 uh, lame edition you know that's it you, if you're just interested on this you're you're done you cannot play crisis with this seriously this is a big problem you know hellgate london on 1024 you can see that i got uh, 160 watt consumption from this computer it's low quality with this and uh, i get uh, 40 fps on average i wish i can see the core load in this situation because it will have been very useful to deduct uh, which side of the video card it's uh, bottlenecky you know maybe the pci express load the core is loaded i don't know in this case 78 degrees is the only thing that i have that is indicating that the video card is at maximum 31 megabytes of vram utilization it's okay but it's not maximum it's uh, capable of delivering some fps here but uh, not the right one you know i want 60 fps with this uh, video card and i think in order to get that i need to put even older games it's capable of uh, starting this game but uh, 1024 is the lowest resolution and i cannot go lower i think this uh, video card with an older operating system it will be much better you know with all the drivers now this is a pleasant surprise let me explain why nearly 170 watts was the maximum this video card uh, can push the computer to so with if i had 170 180 i knew the video card it was on maximum load on the core yes seeing this game on 1080p with low details running with nearly 160 watts it just tells me that this video card is almost capable of of uh, playing some uh, games some older games if i put around 1024 i will distress the video card completely you know 1024 low details this game is going to be very interesting i just came here to see because i know the performance on 1080p how it looks and how it's performing and seeing this uh, nearly 100 megabytes of vram this game running like this with this video card tell me that uh, this video card has a chance on uh, retro gaming with all games that's it 87 megabytes of vram 155 tells me that is not on maximum and it's just bottleneck and that's it you know in this case the best thing i can do for this video card is just put it on a lower resolution and it will show me the true colors of this game in fable with 800 by 600 with low details you can actually see i got uh, not a lot of vram utilization but uh, it's doing a fantastic job when it comes to uh, performance utilizing the resource from this video card look at that the core speed can actually do the job here the vram is not fully utilized so there's not a lot of uh, vram needed in this case but uh, 80 fps in a game like this 80 fps in an open world where you get to play the game play the storyline there's a lot of potential when it comes to this video card because this is the type of game that allows you uh, to play 
with high fps the temperature is almost good 77 degrees on the video card with 20 megabytes of vram but the vram is not fully utilized here because uh, the core is doing the job and it doesn't have uh, any need for that amount of vram you know but i like it i like this idea of low details running uh, with uh, 90 fps this is the only purpose you can have for a video card like this all games retro games old operating system all machines even older than this one and maybe maybe to test some uh, main boards you know not to destroy uh, a proper video card and use it as a display adapter i think that's the only reason you can have a video card like this what's funny about this is the soup vendor it says bfg tech i thought they make legendary video cards not lame edition video cards <laughs> If you have any suggestion for this lame edition video card or for the system, leave a comment and I will see you very soon.